Hello, I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. Welcome to Community Connection. As Election Day is fast approaching, and in order to make the best decision with our vote, we need to be informed and get involved so our voices can be heard, not just with national issues, but with local concerns as well. The League of Women Voters of Utah provides information and support for not only women voters, but for everyone by providing opportunities to learn about topics, policies, and platforms. With us today are Lola Britton and Peggy Carrico. They're co-presidents of the League of Women Voters of Utah. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Thank you very much. Yes, well, you do an important work, and I'm sure you're very busy right now, this year and this season. Mm -hmm. Talk about some of what your organization does. So it is a very exciting time for the league right now as we get into the election season. And I think a big part of what we're wanting to do is educate voters and register voters. It's so important they're registering, getting people out the word of how they can do that, either online, in person, by mail. There's lots of ways to register and we encourage everybody to get out there and vote and get that ready so they're ready to make that, cast that vote when it's time. And then we're also working on our voters guide. Yeah. So hopefully that'll be published about mid-September. And what we do with the Voter's Guide is we send out um, an email request to anyone that's running for an office here in the state of Utah mm -hmm. and ask them uh, very similar questions. Each, I mean, if it were a candidate running for the same office, they would have the same questions. We ask them to reply uh, to those questions. And then those are posted just as they were replied, no, no editing wow. on, on our website. So this used to be a paper copy that um, in, the, in the newspapers um, several years ago, we started doing it on our website. So, and if someone doesn't respond, that is put on the website as well, no response. So then everyone knows their candidate didn't care to answer those questions. That's so. great. So that's accessible to anyone who can get to a computer. Absolutely. And will be able to find that on your website. Yes, which is lwvutah.org. So all of, uh, our, our, all of our studies, um, the voter's guide, our newsletter um, are all on our website and it's, and it's free just, just to go there and look. I had a friend post the other day on social media, I want non-biased information about all the candidates, you know, where can I find that? So there's it's a resource. Way. There's a resource and we are nonpartisan and you know, we don't, we try to educate you on what to vote for, but we don't tell you what to vote for. So we just try to, to bring those, those policies out so that, that you are educated, you know, on what you, what you feel best about for your choice. So aside from encouraging people to register and to vote and to educate them, do you have other focuses that throughout the year that you work with? I think one of the great things about the league is it's really member driven. Um, it's great to be around people who are very interested and knowledgeable and be challenged by what they know. But we develop studies and positions uh, that help to guide everything that we do. So for instance, this year we'll be doing a sexual violence study. And from that we'll create a position and be able to then speak to the legislature or other groups about what we found as a group as we looked at that as an issue. So those things are also found on our website. Um, the League is open to anyone who is 16 years and older, and it's both men and women um, that can be members. So we really encourage those who are interested in helping develop those positions to look at the League for membership. And so you're really busy advocating throughout the year. Yes. Are. Yeah. That's incredible. We, one of the things we do is the Ledge Corps. Do you want to talk about Ledge Corps? And so our Ledge Corps, um, during legislature, and actually during interim as well, we have um, a group of um, people that actually go to the committee meetings or else look at it, look, watch the committee meetings on the website, they report back, you know, what happened in the committee meetings or what happened at the legislature that day. And that information goes out to um, a Google group. So if you are a member and you want to participate and you want to know what's going on in the legislature, you can, you can become a member of that Google group and all the responses that we've done you know, during the day will go out, in the e usually in the evenings or the next day. We also post um, all the agendas for every day during legislative session. Wow. So that goes out through email to all of our, well, actually to more than about 500 people. So you really don't have to be a member of the league to get that. We just need to have your email address and we'll add that to you. So you get the agenda so that you know what's going on if you want to listen to it. I mean, the state actually has a very robust website where you can go in and listen to all the sessions. It's, it's a very good website. That's great to yeah. make it accessible and to let everybody yeah. get that information. So remind us again where your website is. It's lwvutah.org. Great. Thank so. you so much for the work that you do and for being here today. Thank you. 
You can learn more about our show and the groups and organizations featured by visiting our website at kbyu11.org. Thanks so much for watching Community Connection. Please join us again next time.